Hello and welcome to some EverQuest 2 news for early October 2023. Uh, so first up on the menu here, today is the October 3rd. So I guess sometime earlier today, uh, the producer letter for EverQuest 2 came out. So let's uh, take a look at this um, right here. So they completed in July, Terrors of... Thalbra, Kunark Ascension, Planes of Prophecies, added as free to play. They, uh, the Zarkon server, which is a PvP TLE server, uh, Echoes of Feyware got unlocked, and the Great Cloak Caper got continued. So, this is a, uh, I, I think it's a quest of some sort. I don't know. I haven't, uh, I should click it actually. Uh, yeah, so there's a quest involving uh, an event. Uh, you can earn these cloaks and then purchase them on live search. So <laughs> it is what it is. I don't know much about it. I didn't even look at it. Uh, Varsoon in August unlocked Kunark. Uh, the swag store got updated. So the swag store is, I think we covered this in a previous news update. Uh, just different uh, EverQuest themed items you can purchase. Let's see here, large updates to the Summer's Jubilee Oceans Full Festival. Uh, game update 123, Shadowed Overture, and the Expansion Prelude, a fract uh, Fractured Skies Open Beta, and then the Extra Life uh, was announced. So uh, September, uh, game update 123 came out, it was launched, the beta was in August, uh, see an update, a small revamp to Panda Panda Panda. I'll go over that one uh, later. Uh, no longer require you to all require you to complete all their work uh, to do the latest. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, see here, Knights of the Dead. I guess is coming up soon in this month of October, and then uh, Extra Life Game Days in November. And anniversary event. Oh, there's an anniversary event in EverQuest 2 at some point. So there's going to be a lot of stuff coming up. So in October, uh, the 2023 expansion beta and pre-order. Uh, we'll cover that one here in a little bit. Uh, new Knights of the Dead, so that's a Halloween event. And then it looks like uh, Varsoon, which is the TLE server I play on. We'll be releasing Runny Eye the Gathering, Vexar the Invasion, and Shard of Hate. I have no idea what this <laughs> what these are. I don't know if they're expansions or mini patches that add like the dungeon Vexar. Like I haven't I am trying to avoid all the spoilers I possibly can for, for what I'm coming up to. I'm no, I'm like slow rolling it, right? Like someone told me today uh on a comment that uh, you can go one to one twenty in a day. <laughs> And uh, I'm slow rolling it to uh, experience everything I possibly can. Uh, November, uh, Extra Life Game Day, Extra Life Server Bonuses. Uh, Heroes Festival uh, it is in November to celebrate the 19th anniversary. And 2023's expansion, 20th expansion for EverQuest 2. Wow, that is crazy. December, uh, new updates to Frostfell. And Varsoon will unlock the Shadow Odyssey, uh, which, uh, let's Google that and see what that comes up with here. Uh, this wiki is probably the best. So the fifth expansion. All right, so that is what this is. So we'll get uh, intended for levels 50 to 80. So we are level 18, so we're gonna way to go there. So it's gonna add a lot of content, it looks like. Heritage quests, uh, Dungeons, 20 new zones, holy crap. And the Thule Swamp, ooh, that'll be fun. Maybe that means Guck comes back? Ah, there we go. Goal base, Runes of Guck, all right, there we go. That's that's what I want to see. So that's, that sounds exciting. Uh, we'll be there eventually. <laughs> uh, so the 20th expansion, Ballards of Zimara. Uh, beta started today with pre-orders, and you can learn more about it here. We'll go over that here in a second. Uh, the art for this looks fantastic. Uh, let's see here. Uh, but an overture of Songs of Strife. 
an impression ringing out the plane of sky or at the adventure from the film it lands in hopes of wrestling lasting peace for my despotic foe the Dijin sovereign and the growing metallic or Dijin. uh the level cap will go to 130 so that's pretty nice uh for adventure and trade skills new heroic solo and raid zones new quests and much more we'll go over like all over here in just a second uh, next one. Next month, I begin working on the public 2024 roadmap. So, uh, they're going to have a roadmap for the the 2024. So that'll be coming out soon. Uh, both EverQuest One and EverQuest Two kind of do that. Uh, so they will have another expansion next year. There we go. So nice, nice. All right, so that's that. This is the swag store. We showed that caper. All right, here's the beta page. Uh, the artwork for this looks so awesome. I think it's cool. Uh, so th these are the uh, Dijin, right? Uh, oh, it almost kind of reminds me of, like the guys from Burning Lands, the way they look. Uh, kind of cool. Uh, doesn't really look like the ones from Planet Sky and EverQuest 1, but it looks like the ones from uh, Burning Lands in uh late everquest one but it looks like they're fighting some owl dudes so that's just, i don't know if the, like these owl dudes are like a thing later on in the game i just haven't gotten there yet i don't know if they're a playable race or something but they look awesome with these giant wings and stuff really cool and it looks like these guys have a dragon uh looking thing so it's gonna it's just like a really cool scene and you know the shattered world right it's pretty cool all right so here's the this is the uh this is the form post showing some it we'll show the uh actual website here in a second uh so here if you pre-order you get the rotlands smasher pet which is this guy right here and access to the beta server uh let's see here landing page so here's the uh things in the beta right Level cap to 130, new quests, new achievements, new zones, new collections, new research, Chrono Dungeons, re-challenge your favorite dungeons. So, that, I don't even know what it means, but I think it means time walking dungeons, like from like uh, World of Warcraft. You know, you can go back to Guck, you know, at 130 and have your fun, you know, that'd be kind of cool. I don't, just taking a hunch here. Uh, let's see here and then beta rewards So uh, on all these betas right the more bugs you submit the more things you find and do you get points and uh, Those points can be redeemed for these things. It looks like so if you complete all the quests, I guess you get the fabled mount uh, If you get I guess you solo something. I don't know. I don't know the the, the things but you get things right and this is the mount that looks pretty cool and you get this uh maybe this orb is the familiar and this is the firebrand familiar that was kind of cool all right let's go here so here's the page uh the actual pre-order page for it and i'm not sponsored or anything this, this is me nerding out here so <laughs> just uh accept that as what it is but uh this is the, uh, you know, the page. It's kind of, it looks cool. You got these animated guys and stuff. It's a bigger picture of that image. It's really nice. You can watch a YouTube video. See if we allow it. And push, play. mute that real quick. You can Kong, you know, kind of shows everything, right? It's very, uh, it looks cool. Like, if this is what these zones look like later on in the game, I am, my interest has peaked 100%. Because... Uh, the common lands, like where we've been in near Axe Forest and stuff like that, they look pretty, uh, pretty lame. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna lie, they look good, but they look, you know, bland. But these look really cool, so. And just all kinds of stuff going on here, and it looks like you can, uh, can I make this bigger? Yeah, there we go. Splendor Sky Airy, so it just looks really nice. These are all different screenshots. That reminds me of this place I went in uh, Ireland. It had these weird hexagon stones everywhere. 
Yeah, that's so cool. All right, let's keep going here. So the features, uh, new raids, new expansions, new trade skills, new levels. Uh, let's see here, armor set. Yeah, so you can get this armor set for your character. Uh, I guess it's exclusive to that, so that's pretty cool. Everything else I've already covered. There we go. And then uh, Panda, Panda, Panda. Uh, apparently this is nine weeks. Uh, there'll be a new task every once 90 weeks. It came out the 26th. Uh, I did make a video uh, since then, but it looks like there's some kind of event you can do with these pandas. And, uh, and will remain in the game once they become available. So take your time. So, um, I don't know where, where they are. They are, I guess, uh, the Sundered Frontier. Find Bao Bao, Young Zai's cha grandchild and budding botanist to get started. There you go. A uh, new task will be yeah, every nine weeks. So it's pretty cool. doesn't sound like it goes away. So I don't know. Uh, it might be fun to do uh, if we ever get to that level. And then uh, I just want to cover the extra life again. Uh, this is a charity event that they, they do every year. Uh, it's on November. It starts November 4th. You can donate money. And then everybody that plays the games, both EverQuest 1 and EverQuest 2, will get these different milestone rewards. Uh, and then individual donors, like if, say you donate $100, you get all these different cosmetic items or titles and boxes of stuff it looks like you get this guy as a pet and these different uh experience potions and uh let's see here pretty cool stuff honestly uh like this cloak's really cool but this i guess you have to be a fundraiser i don't know how that works i mean i just give him a thousand dollars if i get the cloak uh just tell me what i need to do uh and i'll i'll do it I like to donate to charity, but there we go. That is the uh, EverQuest 2 news for early October 2023. Uh, definitely uh, lots going on. Uh, I'm sure there'll be some patch notes coming up soon. Uh, I didn't see any on any of the games <laughs> yet, but usually in this first week of the month, they don't have any, and then it comes into uh, comes out about later in the month, so... There we go. But thank you very much for watching and please have a fantastic day.